Mikel Arteta's team had an electrifying start to the game, but it was United who took the lead right away thanks to Marcus Rashford's goal on the visitor's first shot. However, they were matched just seven minutes later by Edin Kedia, the Gunners were in complete control of the contest, and after a quick start to the second half, Bukayo Saka equalized his England teammate's previous strike with a left-footed scorcher of his own, after falling behind. United did not falter and equalized through Lisandro Martinez. But it was all Arsenal after that as Eric Ten Hag's team had to withstand an onslaught as they lay siege to their opponent's goal before Nkidia ultimately scored a well-deserved winner in the 90th minute. Although Arsenal dominated the opening exchanges, United eventually took the lead as Rashford nutmeg Thomas party on the edge of the box and fired a fierce effort that looped in at the near post. However, the Gunners came roaring back, taking advantage of some United defensive hesitation that led to a corner. Arsenal played it short, and a wonderful cross from Granite Zaka on the overlap found Nkidia at the back post to nod home. Ben White struggled against Rashford in the first half and was removed at halftime and replaced by Takahiro Tomiyasu after receiving a yellow card. However, the game's trend remained the same with United counter-attack and Arsenal applying a lot of pressure, in the 53rd minute, Arsenal seized the lead for the first time, this time, it was largely United's fault as Christian Eriksen was tripped up in possession on the outskirts of his own box. Although Saka stood up Eriksen before sprinting infield and hitting a magnificent, curling effort into the far corner, giving David De Gea no chance, there should be no doubting the brilliance of the goal. When United fell behind, they quickly reacted. Rashford nearly scored again after bumbling his way into the area, but Aaron Ramsdale made a spectacular save. Previously, they had been unresponsive and passive both when they were ahead and when the scores were matched, but just minutes later, the Arsenal shot stopper went from hero to zero as he let a corner into the box slip through his grasp. Martinez was there to heroically loop an artistic header into the goal despite Gabriel Magalhães' futile attempt to clear the ball on the line. As Arsenal continued to press for a victory, they came agonizingly close on two separate occasions. First, Martin Odegaard missed a golden opportunity to win it, and then Saka's attempt, which was nearly identical to his goal, kissed the outside of the post. As the seconds passed, United sat back further and farther and had to survive multiple scrambles in the penalty area. In one of these, De Gea brilliantly got down to deny Kedia what appeared to be a certain goal, then came a crucial moment for the title race when Leandro Trossard, a January signing in second-half substitute, charged forward and found an overlapping Alexander Zinchenko. Zinchenko's pullback was fired toward goal and Kedia tapped in from close range to spark wild celebrations at the Emirates, an Erling Haaland hat-trick helped Manchester City defeat Wolves 3-0 earlier in the day, cutting the distance between them and Arsenal at the top of the standings to just two points. However, Arsenal reclaimed their five-point lead and still have a game in hand over their championship rivals.